a photo. <laughs> Do my broken windshield wiper? Yeah, I can do it for you. <laughs> Alright, we're in site 49 in the Arches Campground at Kodachrome Basin State Park, uh, just outside of Cannonville, um, Utah. And uh, it's a uh, sort of a dirt back end. It is not level at all. In fact, the fore aft is so unlevel that uh, I can't use my levelers. To, uh, so I, I had to uh, jack it, use the levelers to uh, get the wheels off the ground and then I pushed the uh, uh, pushed the, uh, the stackable plates underneath the wheels and then uh, and then raised the, uh, the levelers so that they're just grounded. Anyway the site's got 20, 30, 50 amp power. It's got water, um, fire pit. Uh, it's in a beautiful location, um, but it's extremely windy today. Uh, it's supposed to get some rain in about an hour and then uh, through the evening and maybe some tomorrow. Um, and then Hank is uh, probably running at about 10%. He had uh, really bad seizures all last night and during the drive today and uh, he, he is down for the count. So I don't know how much of this area we're going to get to see. It may be that we're just stuck in our RV, but um, we do have some pretty views. I mean, that's really pretty down there. Unfortunately, you can't really see that phallic rock. Or are they way, way out there. What happens to that? It's out there. Maybe we'll see it later. Yeah, Have a little... it's in our view. That's right. Eggs and toast today. And we got little man over there recovering. Recovering. So, Hank's still feeling under the weather, so Kelly and I are going to take turns <clears throat> doing short explorations while one of us watches the pup. We got uh, rain that started, uh, I don't know, off and on throughout the day, but last night started about two and it rained till about seven so everything is really kind of muddy. Should I should have put a pullover on. It's cool out of here. in there always. It's kind of nice.
There's that phallic rock way over there. It is muddy. All that rain last night. Sun's starting to poke out. Gotta do a little more. Well, at least walk the loop. <clears throat> so I think there's uh, three campgrounds here. We're in the Arces campground. I think the one down from us is Bryce, not the national park, but the name of the campground. And they're both uh, sort of a hardened dirt gravel road and a parking pad. And I think the other campground is a basin, which is a little newer, and I think it's all paved down there but I'm not sure the dump station's down there we'll find out tomorrow this is definitely going to be a location a park we need to get back to <clears throat> when we can do a little bit more um, when Hank isn't uh, feeling so poorly because there's just too much to see here I'm not even scratching the surface um, this place is huge and it's right next to Bryce Canyon, so there's a lot to do here. There's a million of these things everywhere. They're really pretty. Here we are right there. All right, I think we're having hamburgers tonight. Spot 49 at Kodachrome Basin State Park. And uh, shit, I can't remember the name. Can just outside of Cannonville, I think, uh, Utah, near Bryce Canyon. It's a nice park. We're in a, a, a gravel packed dirt site, 20, 30, 50 power water. Um, backs up to a very scenic view we got a fire pit which we didn't use in a picnic table and uh, again Hank was sort of on the mend after a couple of days of seizures doing much better today but we were just going uh, about an hour away to uh, I think it's Escalante Petrified Forest State Park but uh, we had sort of a dreary stay here the last two days and today is clear as a bell so it should be a good drive. We are going to the dump station. Beautiful uh, drive to the back. Yeah, really pretty. Oh my goodness. So the uh, dump station is over at the Basin Campground. And I heard that they have uh, paved parking pads over there. So it'd be good to get, get a good look to see if we go there next time. Okay, so we've decided that the Basin Campground is the best for us in this rig because uh, Parking pads look uh, are paved and look level and have trees for shade and there are lots and lots of trailheads that are within walking distance of here. Yes. So even if we were here before, it wouldn't have helped the tank was feeling so poorly, but next time we come it's gonna be this campground and we will definitely come back. Yes. Because it is beautiful here. That's a good ch that's that chimney rock we were looking at from our campground, yeah. Kel. Did it? It sure is. I think it's going to fall pretty soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's eroding on that one That's... side. All right. All right, we are leaving the park. Campgrounds are full. Campground, we'll be back. 